A police officer is in a serious condition after being hit by a train. Nottinghamshire police said the officer was trying to save a distressed man who was on the tracks in the Balderton area yesterday evening. Uh, well, the man on the railway lines was also injured. He's thought to be in a not in a life-threatening condition. Uh, well, let's go straight to our correspondent, Emma Birchley. She's uh, on at the scene. Uh, Emma, just, just tell us what we know so far about what happened there. So Nottinghamshire police were deployed here, officers uh, to the Balderton area uh, at around seven o'clock, just before seven o'clock last night, uh, following reports that a man was distressed and on the line. And I think uh, this reminds you of just what a dangerous job it can be being a police officer and what risks they sometimes have to take. So uh, the police officer was trying to uh, calm this person down. Uh, but what we know happened was that a train uh, hit him. I mean, this is an incredibly busy stretch of track. These trains are going past at speed Every minute or two, uh, it's used by four different companies, LNER, Lumo, Grand Central Rail and Hull Trains. So we know that the police officer was hit by a train and we're told suffered life-changing injuries, that awful phrase that we hear more and more often. Uh, and he's critically ill, taken to Queen's Medical Centre in Nottingham. Uh, the person he was trying to help uh, was also injured, not uh, life-threatening injuries, we're told, but they were as a result of electrocution. He too was taken uh, to the same hospital and remains there, uh, we understand. Now, we've had a statement from the Chief Constable of Nottinghamshire Police, that's Kate Maynell. She said, this is a truly devastating incident that has left one of our officers very poorly in hospital. We're supporting his family and ensuring that he gets all the care and support he needs. This was also extremely traumatic for all those who attended the scene, some of whom provided immediate medical assistance whilst the ambulance was on its way. You can only imagine the scene that you would have uh, been confronted with here. And uh, we know that British Transport Police uh, were here on the scene by about ten past seven. So it's a very small time frame we're talking about. Now, we've also heard from Robert Jenrick, he's the Immigration Minister, but he's also uh, the local MP for Newark. Uh, this is what he had to say in a tweet. My thoughts and prayers are with the police officer critically injured in the line of duty. Terrible incidents such as this remind us of the bravery of those serving in at Knott's police and police forces across the country and actually it's British Transport Police who are now leading the investigation to find out exactly what happened.